Hey friends, welcome back to Manwar Dila Karwal. Today's video that we're going to make will be about some of the lessons that we can learn from Mr. Elon Musk. This book, which is approximately 400 pages, is written uh, by Ashley Vince and she has accumulated all of the most important lessons that we can learn from Elon Musk in this book. Number one, if you're really serious about your success, you have to shift your physical location. Got into this book for the first time when Elon Musk was born in South Africa. He lived there and then after that he felt that he could not be a very successful person in Africa so he went to Canada as an, as an international student. He was there for some time and then he went to USA and then there he settled in the Silicon Valley. And today he is a business tycoon. Why? The first and most important reason is that because he shifted his physical location. So if you are serious about your business or about your international success, you have to change your location. Number two, the second lesson that we can learn from this book about Elon Musk is risk taking. He is an ultra risk taker. For the first time when he created a company by the name of X.com, he sold that company. Then when the money came to him, when he had the revenue from that company, he invested all that money in some companies named Tesla, SpaceX and SolarCity. And because of those companies, today you see that he is the richest person in the world. So the second lesson is risk taking. You have to take risks if you are about, if you are serious about your success. Lesson number three that we can learn from this book is commitment. Mr. Elon Musk is highly committed to his business. He doesn't have any home in Los Angeles or in Silicon Valley, San Francisco. Whenever he's working late after night, two o'clock, three o'clock, up to four or five a.m. in the morning, and then when he feels to go to sleep, he calls one of his friends around that area and goes. he goes to his or her home and he stays there. So the third lesson is that if you are serious about your success, you have to be damn committed. Lesson number four that we can learn from this book is that he believes that the impossible is possible. He was dreaming about the creation of homes or the living of humanity or humans in Mars in 2004, 5 or 6, when even people were thinking that if somebody is thinking this way, he is considered to be crazy or a type of person who is deemed to be insane. In short, he believes the impossible. He says the word impossible, it's not impossible. It is I am possible. He says that most of the things are possible if you really want to make that thing possible. Number four, he was highly engaged in reading. According to this book, he was that much engaged in reading that he had read all the books that were uh, that were available in his library that there were no books left so that he could read at that time. So the fourth reason that he's the most successful person is the passion of reading. If you are really a bookwormer or a bookworm, a person who reads very much, that will make you successful. Because you can see a lot of successful people, you can visualize a lot of successful lives and by copying some of, their, some of their ideas, some of their pathways, some of their plans, you can be successful as well. Number five, six, he was the most uh, curious person in the world. He was asking or had a curi curious mind, had curiosity about everything, about computer, about programming, about going to Mars, about creating the cars which could run through electricity, about solar city, about creating solar panels. He was curious or curious thinking deeply about everything that could be possible to make this world a better place for humanity. Lesson number seven, according to this book, he was traveling a lot and facing a lot of mixed culture. He was traveling to the most uh, developed countries like Canada, Australia, UK, USA and some other countries and he was facing mixed culture a lot like you could see you can see a lot of different people and tribes in Canada and in different tribes in Australia and in different tribes in USA so basically if you face all these people and copy some of their lifestyle trends, lifestyle activities and bring them together and create a new idea that the market has not created yet definitely you're going to become an invaluable asset to the market. He was doing the same thing that I told you before. Quality number nine that Mr. Elon Musk had according to this book was never giving up. He was a type of stubborn human. His child died after a few months of uh, his birth, but he was still working, building his companies. His 
first rocket, which his name was Falcon 1, failed to reach space, but he was still working very hard. He was always trying, trying and trying. When, for, when uh, the board of directors of X.com together, came together, he was on a trip somewhere, they decided that Elon Musk should be... When the board of directors of his company by the name of called X.com came together and decided that Elon Musk should step down as the CEO of the company, on that time Elon Musk was on a holiday, I think in South Africa. When he returned back, the company told him that you are no longer the CEO and they had hired a new CEO. So he felt disappointed and went away from the company. But he was on a beach side and he was, he, a sudden, a sudden glimpse of a thought came to his mind. And he thought that if I'm not the CEO of X.com, so basically that means that I'm not created just to run X.com. I am created for something bigger. That means that he was never giving up and had always a positive mindset for success. Trait number 10. He was in search of finding the smartest people in the market in every field that he needed and bringing them together to work together as a team, a collective team to make him successful. Some examples like Eberhard and Straubel, who were the most successful engineers and creators of that time, who, whom, which they brought, to, which he brought together and uh, gave them the task to create uh, a a rocket by the name of Falcon One. This group had also worked for the cars of Tesla to help him build excellent Tesla cars. Quality number 11 that Elon Musk had according to the book is perfectionism or excellence. He was always focused to be the perfect businessman in the market, providing the best quality services. Like he wanted the doors of the Tesla cars to be sensory, to open with just sensing the person who is supposed to enter the car and to build excellent quality batteries, rechargeable batteries for the cars. And he was highly focused on the Tesla S1, Tesla S sedan and Tesla motor um, X to build them as effective and as excellent as possible. Quality number 13, he wanted to provide the best quality services with the lowest possible rates. He wanted to provide Tesla motors or cars to everyone in the world with very less amount of money to be charged for while buying the car. And he's still focused on doing that thing. And the last quality that he had, which is really interesting, is that he doesn't depend on one income source or one company. He has a lot of companies, like he has PayPal, he had X.com, he has Tesla, he has SpaceX, he has SolarCity, which are the biggest companies of the world. All of his companies only, I, th I think just uh, Tesla is worth around $750 trillion in the marketplace today, including space as far as I'm concerned. So he is concentrated on building excellent companies, giga companies, which could transform the life of all of the people on the planet, on the world, and including Mars. Thank you.